Hello. Hello. I love you responding. I love you sort of interacting. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. And it's, you are not what the scale say. You're not what the mirror says. You're not what your regrettable behavior is. Maybe when you look back, you are beautiful because of the content of your soul. You are special, magnetic, beautiful human. And I'm here to talk about that, beautiful human. But the first thing is I want you to show me a fingertip. Just hold one fingertip. On that tip, it's not an iceberg, tip of an iceberg. It's a tip of a beautiful human, you, right? And with one finger, can you come forward for me and touch my finger? I'd like everybody in the tent to get two fingers and touch two fingers with the people alongside you. Touch fingers. And the whole of the tent here is people touching each other. And then I'd like you to look at the person and say, you are beautiful. You are beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, don't get carried away. Hey. How many people just touch someone that they've never even met before? See, look at that. That is a sense of community. That is beautiful. So you are unique. You are special. Okay, next, I'll do things to me. I don't do talks. I never do talks. Uh, put your, clasp your hands together like that and cross your thumbs like that and squeeze. Okay? Just squeeze. Now, unclasp them and clasp them together the other way with your thumbs crossed the other way and then squeeze. Now, that doesn't feel as comfortable, does it? You know why? All our life, we've been doing it that way, and growth does not reside in a place called comfortable. We fall into comfortable zones without even knowing it. Fold your hands. Undo them and fold them the other way. And some of you can't even do it. <laughs> so what's happening in our lives? We fall into comfort zones and we don't know what to do in it. So that's what I want to do, is talk about, you are beautiful. And the Japanese have a wonderful phrase called wabi-sabi. And what that says is that you cannot be beautiful unless you reveal your imperfection. So I believe, I talk about, and I, I want to live beautiful imperfection, because we'll never be perfect. And a a, a human, uh, this title is about being or becoming a beautiful human person. You are a beautiful human person. It's just that we, it's a journey. It's a, a sort of a becoming thing. It's not just a, a sort of we, we are suddenly arrive. Uh, I want to tell you about the sound of music. Anybody here who's seen the movie, The Sound of Music, say yo. Yo. See, I love the reaction, you see. Uh, I've got a four-year-old granddaughter called Connie Pops, and I've watched some of it. She gets bored with some of the bits, but she loves the bits uh, with the kids, right? And what I want you to do is to join in with me. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kisses. Bright coloured petals and Brown paper packages tied up with string. These are our few of my favourite Okay, that's enough, that's enough. Wasn't that fantastic? Give a round of applause, yes, yes. When I was 26, married to Mrs Beautiful one year before. She, she was 21 when we got married, I was 25. We sold up our home and we went working with young offenders. So at the age of 26, I was a house mother... 22, we were running a young offenders unit for Manchester Children's Department, as it was then. I have this saying, which is, we can see a person's behaviour, but we can't see the journey. And one of the big things about becoming is seeing beyond the behaviour. Uh, Sound of Music, the, mu the, the, the film is about... Captain Hero Von Tropp, BHP. But he was a man who was locked away from love, locked away from music, locked away from emotion, and he was about control. And the magnificent thing, seeing this film through a four-year-old eyes, 
I saw that man with a hard heart and he, I just saw, saw, saw him sort of like a beautiful bud of a flower like this. And what he had to do was open. And it, you, know, you know the story of the movie, love did it, emotion did it, music did it. I cry when I see Sound of Music and he, he walks in and sees his children singing to the Baroness in a beautiful, and he, I crack up with emotion like I feel it now. You know what? A bud of a flower is not as fragile as when it opens. When a flower opens, it's more fragile. When a chrysalis, it's not as fragile as a butterfly. We, as beautiful human persons, will only develop, will only grow if we go beyond behaviour and see that person beyond behaviour. See beautiful. And I think it's the, this seeing beautiful thing, it's like, you know, these metal curtains you can walk through. The first one is the, our feelings. We have feelings when somebody has behaviour. I've worked with violence all my life and I hate it. But you've got to go through the violence like a curtain then you've got to go through the person's behaviour and see the beautiful human person. One of my others said, I'm doing a course for psychotherapists in, the, in Bedfordshire in 6th of September. And the name of the course is, every person we meet is fighting a battle we know nothing about. You guys, every one of you, is working through things and we don't know unless we get some form of intimacy. So the challenge today from me is you pick five out of all that what I've said today. Because what to do this, to move on from this place called comfortable, is to decide and write five things. And what I suggest is you start off with I will. I have a mission statement which with every sentence says I will. And it's a journey. So what I suggest is you go home or you write here Five things which will journey you, help you to journey uh, into the becoming of a beautiful human person. Let us touch fingertips because that's uh, all I want to do is say to each other, you are beautiful. Just like Van, Van, uh, Van Trop. Thank you very much. You are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>